Times Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Or kill the tape for this our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Big little kick lands under the elbow. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Able to check the high kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission for a big round Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Big power shot there. Oh, and he lands again. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Let your hands go. 
going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. Nice head kick gets through. Two minutes to go in the round. Come on, push through it. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. And he lands it. Oh, back to the knees he goes. That'll count. Effective jab there by the... Nice kick to the midsection. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. There. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Right lands. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, massive kick lands flush. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't even worry about what that thigh leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. And now he's got the back. Get out of there. <clears throat> Strong reversal there. Lee gets back up again. Now he's got the single collar and the clinch. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. Uh, take a seat, bud. Get some water. Perfect. How do you feel? Awesome. Your cardio was great, dude. Keep that pressure. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC. And certainly, you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. You ready? You ready? Go. Second round on the way. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt in front of his right. corner because every time he throws, he's landing. That is a damage to kick that man. Back and forth we go. Swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling starting. Be sharp with that double jab now. Oh, good work with the jab there. for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Nice punch to the head. Great block there. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Oh. Straight right is there. Oh! Massive kick to the head. That one was clean. Great punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. He has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. 
He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. He's having his way with him here. That was a slick transition. Great ground and pound by this man. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Lee. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, roundhouse kick. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows. And he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. And his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's gonna impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Straight right hand now just misses. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by Lee. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, 
All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to do. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. That cut is only getting worse, champ. I'm not sure if it's time to call in the ringside physician, but we got a bloody mess on our hands now. Yeah, bloody mess. This guy's almost unrecognizable. Uh, you look at you look at this guy, and you look at his toughness. And his toughness may be a problem right now because his opponent will not let off on him. He's going to continue to beat him up. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you gotta call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damage. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice front kick there. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. And again, the front kick lands there by Lee. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood. The injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Oh, and that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. They're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice 
Nice jab by Lee. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Back and forth we go. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Lee's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Triple. Oh! This could be it. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. There it is again. No wasted motion. Oh! Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so the referee steps between the two fighters. They are going to call on the doctor to look at that nose, and I'm fearful this is going to be the end of the fight. Yeah, it's bad. There's a lot of blood. You can see him almost mouth wide open, gasping for air. Not sure if the nose is broken or just busted up. But blood is splattered everywhere. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's the end of the fight. So that's it's a disappointing right conclusion, but the right call. The right call, John. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. More often than not, he has had an answer.